since I haven't been on here in almost a full month, I figured that I would do a little bit of a vlog uh, today. Right now I'm getting impact ready. This is where the goosenecks at. My drills are like seven years old, so don't fucking judge me. So here we go. It's got four batteries. Just look like I have a headache right now. So I got the screws up there. It's a top deck. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about it because I haven't done a video of it in a while. A little bit of a recap on it. So these are the stars that we're using. These are the screws. And I'm gonna show you this puppy around. I'll have to take off some things here in the front, but right now I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of something, something that's been going on. I added this here this week. Um, it's all screwed down. It'll be all screwed down later on today. And then we have the 20 foot long decking. I added all this here. Boss wanted this here as in a rush, so nobody's going to really approve of the welding that's going on on this trailer, but it's okay. Um, so we added these here, or I added these here. There's a plate right here, plate right here, and a plate that's right here. And then there's also a plate right here, right here, and right here that's new. Beforehand, there was only just these corners. And then this corner right here and on the inside as well, underneath this big plate. So I also, we also added the six inch, or six inch, this eight by six foot C channel up here. He didn't want no gussets added, but I added gussets. Um, just for added strength and that way it doesn't feel like it's just being allowed. So I've welded this here with 215 Lincoln Welder and then um, these here, the C channel right here for the decking is just its original. Um, this right here comes out these two bolts and then this pin comes out on each side. And this here is kind of like like a jack on a small trailer, but this one here is for a gooseneck. If you guys look very closely, you guys will be able to kind of see it go up and down. You see, well, it's kind of moving a little bit. Terrible fucking filming, but whatever. Anyways, this area here goes up and down. This opens up. If you take out this pin right here, this whole bar literally comes out, and then, ouch, um, this lever here comes up, like that, and then this whole mouth opens up, and then these little pins in here, they do that. Let me show you. you gotta be careful because these motherfuckers are hurt. You don't watch out. So you're gonna bring it out like this open it. You gotta kind of do it with two hands, but it'll come up like that, and then that'll stay up like that, and this will come out like that. And then your ball will go in, and it'll snatch it right on it. This little lever has like a little notch in it, so you just gotta press it, and then it'll go down just like that. And then all you gotta do just press this puppy in, it'll go in right over here. Just like that. Okay. You wanna make sure it goes in all the way. Then you're take, gonna take your other pin, push it on through, and close it. Just don't get your fingers in there, because it'll hurt. This right here is just to lock everything in place. I mean, I don't really think it does really much of anything. It just like goes through, but this here is actually a holder and um, it actually just needs to get put up anyways. I just don't think it's, I'm not tall enough for this. Basically all I'm doing is twisting this jack around until 
this whole comes back. There's gonna be a hole right here, and then this these bolts are weren't gonna get a. Oh my god, these bolts are gonna go in here as soon as this hole comes back. Probably could do some more recording in there, but it is what it is. There's a jacked up top, and it just turns around. I'm obviously not tall enough for it, so. Guys, up here, so you guys get a better viewpoint, I guess. This guy. So I'm all. I'm really. I'm really. Terrible, terrible uh, placement, but to you all, this may not seem like a big boy, but it's a big boy to me. So now we have this hole lined up. And this will go through here as a locking placement. All right, the same thing with this one. And then the same thing over here. Now, when you go to adjust it, this here, this piece won't move up and down with this because these here are attached to the actual neck itself or the hitch itself. So I'm gonna go up there and uh, finish this deck. You have to like literally jump on it just to get anything done. So this here is what we have. I did some of this here yesterday before I got attacked by bees, but there's gonna be people in the background. So back here at this post neck. I'll tell you guys a little bit of backstory on this thing. The owner of this trailer right here, this goose neck, it's been used. I wanted this thing done ASAP and I had to put this, this, and the back plate and over there too on within the past three hours. What's gonna happen is I have to redo the welds because it's I want it on so far quick that I couldn't really do anything about it. So here I am embarrassing myself online again, but we're coming back to fix this thing. Let me show you. Pretty much what has to happen is this all has to go. This has to go. I'm gonna re-weld this, like all of it. This is all gonna be flex core. This is gonna go, even though that looks like a nice weld. This looks okay, I'm gonna grind that off and then just weld all of it. This is okay. This needs to get rewelded. This needs to get rewelded. Definitely needs to get rewelded. This over here, there's nothing I can do about that, so that's fine. Um this whole fucking thing needs to be done. Redone, redone, redone. <clears throat> this needs to get redone. This needs to get redone. 
So the thing about this right here was there wasn't enough penetration to go around. All of this needs to get redone. And all of this here, I'm just gonna grind it all off. All of this here. And some of this right here needs to go. Some, well that's on today's agenda. So far she's looking pretty damn decent. Let's just take a look around the whole trailer and see what the needs to happen. I don't know when this white truck got here, but it's here. Also gonna put welds on the bottoms right here. Right here and here. And then right here to here. And then here. So if you guys don't even know, you can weld flux core downhill and uphill vertical and, and um, basically dragging it, pushing it. You can do basically whatever you want. It's still the same thing. Pushing it and doing uphill makes it stronger. I also wanted to respond on here of the welder that I have. We're back with the 140 weld pack. I do need more penetration. If you guys have any other options out there for a Bobcat um, Miller Bobcat 225 Lincoln electric welder that is a Ranger 8, that would be greatly appreciated because I get so much hate for all the penetration, not having the right welder, all this other stuff. Nobody understands what goes down behind the scenes. So keep a look out. Thank you. I get any more hate. I do go on Facebook Marketplace quite a bit. I had one in mind and I put a bid on it and I lost it and it slipped out from underneath my hands. So there's that for you.